I made the decision to stop using amalgam, it was um, after a lot of thought because um, I'm going against four years of, of dental school training, you know, and uh, you wind up questioning the value of your, med of your dental school training, which then casts a shadow over the value of your DDS degree which casts a shadow over your self-image or self-worth. And I think that's one reason so many of the, my fellow dentists that I talked to about this just refuse to even look at it because it's too much of a negative for them to, to really fathom. They just don't want to think that they've ever done anything that would have hurt their patients. And the way I came to a reconciliation on that was the fact that I did my best, but I'm not going back. I'm not going to hurt these patients anymore. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to try and put the safest materials in their mouths that I can that is the safest for that particular person. What may be safe for you may not be safe for the next person because they may have an immune system that may react to what I give for in, in your mouth. And so I'm going to do my utmost to try and individualize my treatment for that particular person and uh, I've never regretted it I've caught a lot of flack I've got a lot of uh, former dental school classmates that you know don't want to barely talk to me because they think I'm a heretic and uh, but fortunately I think the winds have changed and uh, this has become such a big issue and People are starting to think about the fact that maybe these guys are right, these heretics are right, and I think more and more people are starting to accept it. I hope so. And I know the public is starting to accept it, and if the public really starts to get behind it, dentistry will change for sure.